Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are heading over to my mom's and we are gonna be making over her front porch for summer again this year. Last year turned out so good that she asked if I would come over and do it again this year, but we wanted to do a patriotic theme, getting ready for the summer and the 4th of July, and you can't go wrong with red, white, and blue. So <laughs> we are going to be taking some of the winter and fall stuff down. Yes, it's been a while since I've been over here, so there is still some fall decor up, but mom has already washed the porch down and wiped everything down so I don't have to worry about all the cleaning I just kind of need to take down these leaves from these topiaries and then we'll go ahead and get started so my mom is very supportive of my youtube channel she loves my decorating and my style and just loves to see all of the ideas that I come up with and I will just say I get it from her. I know she will say that I don't, but I totally get my inspiration and my creativity from her. She has been known to come up with some really neat ideas, things that I seriously think she should probably take to Shark Tank because her ideas blow my mind sometimes. <laughs> But with that being said, she is constantly contributing to my channel and my decorating. She's always staying on the lookout for new things. So she has been kind of collecting some things here and there for her porch, knowing that I was gonna come over and decorate it. So she just laid it all out for me and said, do what you wanna do and I wanna be surprised. So I will be incorporating some of the pieces that she picked up and then also rummaging through her bins to just see what we can come up with and how we can be creative. But the first things that she picked up were these really pretty kind of burnt red planters. Her only preference was that she wanted that old world patriotic theme. So these really fit perfectly with the style that she is wanting to go for. And then I thought I could just kind of add some country rustic vibes to it. And some of the things that she has around her home, I think will really mesh all of those things together really well. Like these grapevine wreaths that I picked up from her back porch. She has had these for years and years that she made from her own grapevines. I thought these would add some pretty texture and really act as a good filler as well. If you watched last year's video, you know that my mom does not want any real plants on her front porch. She has too many issues with squirrels and birds and it's just a little bit too much upkeep for her. So her back porch and her garden is already work enough and she loves doing it, but it's just one less thing for her to have to manage or keep up with. So these faux ferns work perfectly on her front porch. We are just repurposing these from last year, so I'm gonna give them a good fluff and we'll probably add some sweet little flags and just keep it really simple over here. So now I'm going to move over to the front door. My mom did order a new mat for the front door. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out with these planters because I feel like they do really look best right in front of the windows. So we're just going to try to figure this out and see how it will look best here. I did pick up a few mats that I thought might layer well with this, but we're just going to have to move things around and then make a decision. If you know me, that's usually my process. I kind of put it all out there. I'll take a step back, think about it for a second, and then make my changes. This first mat was super cute. I love that it pulled the gray in, but I don't think the blue is quite right. We're going for more of that deep navy blue. So I think we're gonna try this other one that I picked up. It's a little simpler, but I think it might work better for what we're going for. I don't know, they're both really cute, so I may just let them sit here for a second before I make a decision. But now I'm gonna move to the topiaries, and these are probably the most time-consuming part just because I want them to be pretty and full. I want you to be able to see these from the road. So I just picked up these little boxwood 
um, garlands from Walmart. They were super affordable. I think the color will go really well with the ferns. And even though these are a little more time consuming, being that these garlands are wired, it makes it so much easier to put these in place and I know they're not gonna move. So while I was at Walmart, I picked up some florals and some flags. She had one wreath left on the back porch and I thought, why don't we make one for the front door? Not super crazy, um, but I saw this really neat idea with kind of intertwining the flags in a wreath or maybe even wrapping it, but I couldn't find flags big enough. So I don't know. We're going to try and figure this out, see what we can come up with. It may totally not work out the way I planned, but we're going to give it a try. And overall, I think the wreath will turn out really cute and tie those in from the planters. This is how the wreath turned out. I kind of like it to the side, but then I positioned it like this, and I think I like it better if I'm going to fill it up with the flags on the opposite side, but I don't know. The flags just aren't working. Like I said, they really weren't big enough for what I was envisioning, and then I was like, well, maybe I can just double it up with two flags here, and I don't know. I still don't really like the look of it, so... I don't know if I'm even going to surprise my mom with this just yet um, until I figure out what I'm going to do. So I don't know. For right now, I think I'm just going to leave the wreath and just kind of brainstorm a little bit and see what we can come up with because right now I really don't like this. So I left the wreath and went to go pick up my kids from school and then I came back to my mom's house and she said that she was going to head to Hobby Lobby and see what we could come up with and she found this really pretty 
rustic canvas flag and we're kind of just going to use it as a backdrop for the wreath. I think it is so pretty. I love how it fills the door and then the wreath really just enhances the flag. It really allows the flag to shine and like I said you guys my mom comes up with the coolest ideas so I mean who would ever thought to pick up a canvas flag and use it on your front door but then she also was thinking the same thing I was about the mat and she actually cut the mat down so we're gonna use it just like this and I think it actually works really well with that layered mat too it just fits perfectly and that way the topiaries can stay in front of the windows which like I said they just look best there so it really just worked out well and then while my mom was at Hobby Lobby she picked up a ton of burlap ribbon and patriotic ribbon the plan was to actually wrap them around the red planters and make like a big pretty patriotic bow and then we just got a little creative and decided why not wrap these around the topiaries. I think they would be really pretty, add that country rustic vibe. I knew that I wanted to fill in these a little bit more and I thought about maybe some white florals, but this just worked out perfectly. So we are just taking that burlap ribbon and wrapping it all the way up to the top. And then we're gonna take the patriotic ribbon and go in between and just fill up that space. And then that with the garland, I think these are gonna look really pretty. So the grapevine planters were really throwing the whole thing off. So we're just taking that ribbon and we're gonna wrap it all the way around the bottom. I think this will cover that up temporarily. My mom was totally fine with doing this. I was struggling keeping this from falling down. We tried a couple different methods and then mom just said, why don't you use hot glue? It's concrete, it's not gonna hurt it. And that really did the trick but I love that we found a way to use this extra ribbon. We were able to layer it up. It doesn't have to be perfect and it turned out really, really cute. My mom also picked up this sweet little banner from Hobby Lobby and my plan was to put it over the front door in that window space but with the flag there I really think these would be better in between the windows but now I've actually got to go back and get another one so we're just gonna finish this video up and get to that later but I wanted to give you guys a final look of how the front porch turned out I think it is so cute. It is so festive and patriotic. And this is totally up my mom's lane. I think she is gonna be so excited when she sees it all together. And now the porch is completely ready for summer. Thank you guys so much for watching along. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that I was able to give you some inspiration or ideas for your own summer decor. Me and my mom have very similar tastes, but she also has her own style as well. And overall, I hope this, this can encourage you to try something new, something a little out of the box, or maybe that's not your typical style or look. 
I love being able to create beautiful, cozy spaces, whether it's my own home or for my family. And I also love being able to give you guys some inspiration as well. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, thank you so much for being here. I hope that you enjoy it and you stick around and join our YouTube family and give this video a big thumbs up. That helps my channel out so much. All right, that's all from me today. I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I'll see you all really soon in the next one. Bye friends.